We often talk about the increasing number of drug overdoses here in our region. One of those deaths happened in February when Garrick Epperhart from Logan passed away. <clears throat> One of his longtime friends spoke out on social media at the time with a, a positive word of prayer for other people in our area who are going through similar situations. Well, Garrick's mother joins us in just a moment to talk about how addiction affects a whole family and the whole community. But here is a look back from our WSAZ vault at Andrew Colgrove's story from February. Michael Owens played football for Marshall in the late 90s and early 2000s. These days he keeps busy working in physical therapy and spreading the gospel. Unfortunately, you know, uh, just the circumstances of life just creeps in and, and uh, sometimes we don't know why, we don't know the story, you know, overall. This week, the Logan, West Virginia native lost a childhood friend. I went to his house, we went to school together, elementary school. Uh, his mother was our actual sixth grade teacher. The friends did not see much of each other later in life, but would keep in touch. We stayed connected. He would let me know about situations that was going on back at home. He would message me. And I remember one time he just messaged me just to tell me that he loved me. And I told him that I loved him. This thing is a spiritual battle. Owens posted this video on Facebook, a 35 minute prayer on the region's drug problem. The video has been viewed more than 15,000 times. The thief comes to steal, kill and to destroy. But Jesus says, I've come that you may have life. If we understand who we are, uh, that God made us and he created this man, um, that, can change the, that can change everything. The father of four is also the interim youth pastor at a church in Nitro, preaching to young people every week, hoping to help spare them from the fate that's claiming the lives of so many. This is stuff I talk about to them because they don't have to fall trapped to the things that they feel like they have to fall trapped to. So we are joined now by Tana Epperhart, who is from Logan, and as we mentioned, lost her son Garrick to the drug overdose just a few months ago. And first of all, obviously we know it's very difficult to even talk about this, but I, I guess in a way maybe you find talking about it, and, and I've talked to other families who have said the same thing, talking about it is the best thing rather than walling yourself off because it is such a sad, horrible thing to lose a child. In a situation like this, some families say they feel, oh, there's, there's shame, but you want to talk about this. I do. I, want, I do not want another family to have to go through this, mm -hmm. even though the book that I wrote, I know that it won't necessarily cause someone to, you know, not do the drugs, right. but I want them to think twice about mm -hmm. the hopes that they had for their lives. Sure. Because my son had hopes for his life, mm -hmm. but he just got into the drugs and the addiction took over and he had been clean for over a year and then it just it happened again. it happened again and this time it just took his life and I don't want somebody else to have to suffer through that you guys are a normal family just average American family growing up in Logan West Virginia exactly everything seems to be fine when did those warnings especially now when you look back on it when did those warning signs first start to show First, when he started grad, when he graduated from high school, mm -hmm. little things would pop up. He started changing friends. It was like he had a split personality. Oh. One moment he was with his good friends, and the next moment he was with friends that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And at that age, even though we did watch over our kids, you still don't know what they're doing, 20, sure. you know, all the time. Because and they're also turning into adults too. Exactly, exactly. And so he would start to college. He would. You know, then things would happen. He was no longer in school, and but he got a really good job, and and things started working out. But then I guess he started just getting into drugs, and they can hide it from you. Mm -hmm. uh, that when you suspected it, what what was it that you guys began to do to try to help him? Because you you said that you know he was clean for a year. What yes. did you do as a family to try to get through this? Well, our family members would talk to him. We would have friends to talk to him. He was. He kind of would, he was able to hide it and just let us think that everything was so okay. So he was lying to you yes, about how exactly. bad it was. Yes, he was. Because he didn't want to worry you. Right. And, uh, which is so common again. And as so a common. mother, I was an enabler. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would try to help and think, okay, this time, you know, if I, if I do this, it'll work out. And but things didn't. But his problem, he died of a heroin overdose. Mm -hmm. And... I mean, I don't know, but to this day, I, I think that was the very first time he'd ever been 
around that. He'd always had troubles with pills mm -hmm. and things. Which but one it leads is, to the other. Exactly, yeah. and it's just getting terrible in Logan. And I just could not sit still. And he had tried to fight this fight, but he, he lost it. So my family and I decided we're going to continue with the fight, try to help others with this problem also. And when it first happened, when, when he first died of the heroin overdose, uh, obviously, you know, the grief, but the, the, did the anger part ever kick in and did you ever feel like, I need to find this person who oh sold goodness. him that drugs, I need to track them down? What was that yes. like? That drives me crazy. I bet. That is one thing, as soon as it happened, that was the first thing that popped into my head. That's okay. what I wanted to happen. Yeah. And this is an ongoing police investigation right now. Mm -hmm. And not only has it happened to Garrick, but since February, three other kids in their 30s mm -hmm. have died in Logan from the same thing. So it needs to be stopped, and they need to find the people that are selling these drugs to these kids because the type that he died from, you don't even have to take it. You can just get it on your body. Okay. Was it and mixed with fentanyl and yes. things? Like that? Okay. Yes. And, which is what that is, is, is one of the most common things. Right. When you, you look back See, on look these. look at that. Yeah. I mean, there it is again. That's what we say. It's just, this is, this is a, an average American family. And, uh, and, and here's the thing, and I know you've met these people because since this has happened, uh, families get together, people come up to you, I'm sure, all the time yes. and say, I had this, of such a similar situation. We were a perfectly normal family. Everything was great. Exactly. And somewhere along the, the way, we, we lost our child. Yes. Um, and it's just that peer pressure. I know you hear that in school all the time, mm -hmm. peer pressure. And as a retired teacher, I know that we teach about drugs and peer pressure right. and all of that. But they really can, the first time they try it, get addicted to it, yeah. and it just overtakes their life. And, and unlike alcohol, which is described as, uh, by so many addicts as, as a slow death, a slow procession, in a situation like this, when their opioids are involved, especially when mixed with something like that, it yes. can be instant. It can yes. be such a quick death. And it leaves families like you just struggling for some answers. It One does. of the things that you did is you turned to writing and you wrote this book. Yes. And it's um, a children's book. Like I said, I am a retired teacher, and so I thought, okay, what can I do? So I decided, I found out that August 31st is National Overdose Day. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't know that before. So I thought, I'll go into the schools and do something. So I tried finding a book that I could take into the schools and read and bring up questions, and we could talk about it. And there was nothing that I could find. So my family and I sat down, and we came up with Garrick's Hopes. And what it is, it's there are pictures of family members, the children mm -hmm. in our family, and they tell what their hopes are, and then we tell what Garrick's hopes were, uh, similar to that, but yeah. then every page says, but drugs took that away. Drugs took that away. The drugs yeah. took that away. And he was a top 10% of his class. He had lots of hopes for his life. Mm -hmm. That drugs took it away. Yeah, addiction was something, and you know, and at the same time, I, I'm I'm sure that as 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 horrible and and dreadful as it is to lose a child, you're hearing stories from parents and from addicts yes. who are coming up to you and saying, "Well, guess what? I what's the does that is that give oh. you hope? Is that is that part yes, of Garrett's hope?" Yes, it does. Hope, and at his service, which Michael Collette Owens did, yeah. and I got up and spoke, and. Um, it was just something that I, I just felt like I had to do. And after the service, you wouldn't believe how many, again, kids that are in their 30s mm -hmm. and came up to me and said, thank you for yeah. speaking for us. Yeah. And that's what we have to do because we look at these addicts a lot of times and, and you think, you know, I'll look at them. They, they just want to do this, but they don't. My son didn't. Yeah. He really didn't. Michael's been such a blessing for you Michael guys. Michael has He's, been wonderful. You know, Michael has a been wonderful. Lifelong friend for you guys now. Yes, I had Michael yeah. in the sixth grade, but yeah. we've known their family. You know, since Michael was in kindergarten, he and mm -hmm. Gary were together. Yeah, and it's just been a blessing. Very strong individual. Yes. Well, we're going to talk about the website now, and we want to hold up the yes, book. Yes, please do. And this book is available. It's on. Uh, it's online on sites like Amazon soon. And uh, right now, you have a website where people can yes. find it if they Garrick's want to get it right Hopes. now. Com. Okay. And um, what kind of response, I guess, have you oh, gotten so far from people? Oh, wonderful response. And the people have been wonderful. I have sold close to 500 within probably three or four weeks. 
and um, it's just been wonderful. And people just will write to me and tell me what a blessing it is yeah. to them. And I just hope it touches somebody's heart to where they don't have to go through this. It again. already has. It, it already has. has. And you know that. It has. You know that. It yeah. has. Thank you it so has. much for Thank coming you. in. I really appreciate, I appreciate it. it. And it's uh, not an easy subject to talk about, but it's one that, that you become unfortunately well versed in, but at the same time, a, a benefit for other yes. families. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. And uh, you can find this on WSAZ. If you go to WSAZ First Look at Four, go to Featured Links, and you'll be able to find out more about this book. Thanks so much for joining us.